I'm Kai Nissen. I'm Shmar Yahoo. I'm Adichai. I'm Yehuda. I'm Avshalom. I'm Zaha. And together we are the Cohen's. And this is our unique family vlog. Shalom, shalom. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you guys. I wanted to share this very quick and fast recipe. Um, we are all about fast and quick. It's never a dull moment. So nevertheless, these are hash browns. Um, it's a very simple recipe. Almost reminds me of um, latkes, but it's not. It's, it's hash browns. We, we like to use these with our eggs uh, that we make almost similar to this. Um, it's very easy nevertheless. So all you need is hash uh, potatoes. I used three very large potatoes. And you will need a salt, pepper, baking powder, and egg. So I put you don't need to be perfect on the salt because it's all to your taste. I just kind of eyeball it, but if you want to go to a perfect, perfect amount, it's probably going to be about a teaspoon for every five potatoes. That's usually what, what you put. Um, pepper is the same way. You don't want to over pepper if you don't like pepper. In this house, we absolutely love pepper. Without pepper, um, I think the boys really wouldn't eat very much. They just love the taste of pepper. I don't know why. I'll show them why do you like pepper so much. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's really not really sure why, but pepper is like... It's like that flavor. And that's flavored everything. And that's flavor? Are you saying my food doesn't have flavor? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Baking soda, you're just going to want to put about a tablespoon, maybe two, depending um, on how fluffy you want your hash browns to be. It's really, again, you never want to be absolutely perfect. To me, I remember trying to get everything in this perfect little spot where it should be, and everything looked so perfect but didn't really taste um well, so to me, uh, if you just get it in there the way the way it should be, it's completely fine. You're going to want to put about three to four eggs, depending on how, how your potatoes are, um, how many potatoes you use. Again, you just want to eyeball it. You're looking for, I'll show you guys the consistency that you're looking for. Um, as soon as I get these all wrapped in. And I don't see a whole lot of pepper salt, so I'm gonna put a little more, because like I said, these kids absolutely love pepper. Well, I don't know if, Avi, Avi, do you like pepper a lot? Um, I don't like a lot of pepper, but I do like pepper. It does add like a really good, nice flavor. It adds a nice flavor. Yeah. Okay, so this is ready. This is the consistency we kind of like it to be. It's really a simple, um, it's, it's very simple, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna get um, a spoon or, or whatever. You could probably just get, you could even use your hand and you're just gonna pour each one of these into here. You can make them smaller, you can make them bigger. If I can make them off this. Oh, and actually, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Actually, guys, you know what I forgot? I forgot to spray the pan. The pan. <laughs> it would be an absolute nightmare if we didn't spray the pan. Um, you can use olive oil, you can use vegetable oil, whatever you choose your to preference. use. Your preference. It's all about having fun, making it easy. And again, it's best if you don't try to be absolutely perfect. It just won't come out the way you're hoping it to come out. Um, I usually make some really thick. 
and then some really really thin just depending on what you're going to use them for if you're going to use them for like an egg sandwich if you're going to make like a biscuit with egg and uh, hash brown and uh, tomatoes and whatever else omelet style however you're going to make it you're not going to want to make them too big you're just going to want to make them regular so I'm going to get this done and I will get with you guys very shortly Alright guys, I have got all the little slots filled in. It's a very, very, again, very simple. This is what it should look like. You can make them thinner if you're looking for a perfect round, thin hash brown. Um, we, again, all boys, so they light up a lot of everything. Um, so I make them a little bit thicker. They'll take a little longer to cook that way, but it's but really not much longer. Um, the consistency should be not, not like really eggy, but you want to have some kind of liquid consistency. Um, we're gonna put this in a preheated oven at 400 degrees for about, probably about 15, 20 minutes. All right guys, I have taken them out of the oven it took about 30 minutes for them to be done. I checked on them every 10, maybe every 15 minutes. I checked on them twice, 15, 30. So this is what they look like when they're done. They look very fluffy. You see the egg inside of the hash brown. It's really just an amazing, amazing look. You can see they come out very easily. And if you'll look on the back, potato is it's really amazing these really came out really great so easy to make guys you can do easily easily make a hundred of these within about an hour and a half you have breakfast for everybody in the house all week long you don't need to make it on that scale if it's just two or three it's seven people per day per morning, so we have to make quite a bit. But this is what it looks like when they're out. It's very simple. You can easily, um, you can easily use these a little bit with ketchup. So what I usually do is just put one on there. And you can just play with it however you like. Maybe hot sauce, you want to add a little bit of something on there. Very, very nice. It's very easy. Very easy to work with. My whole thing is, um, but I just wanted you to see the inside of how amazingly fluffy it is. It's just absolutely great. You see the potato, you see the egg, and it is truly, truly, truly a delicious, delicious piece. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick and fast recipe for your family. May God Almighty bless each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Shalom YouTube and thanks for watching. This channel is about family, tradition, and everyday life. Please hit subscribe below and join us in our journey as we grow. And remember, you are unique.